tonight whenever you're ready. Okay. Did you know that 38 states have banned legislation and constitutional amendments towards gay marriage, according to CNN.com? Well, today I want you to, I want to persuade you to fight for gay marriage and their rights and sanctions. I've had gay friends and acquaintances in the past, and they, they're just like you and me. Same feelings, um, personalities, and interests, and they don't differ from us, so why can't they have the same rights as, as us as well? Um, today I'm going to go over two points. Reasons why it should be legal and the flaws in the government for banning gay marriage. Today, 9 million Americans are either transgender, bisexual, gay, or lesbian. Um, and that's within the 31 million American states, so that's almost one-third of all Americans. 49% support gay marriage, 49% of Americans support gay marriage, and that number is rising um, throughout the decades as well, according to Politico.com. Countries that have legalized gay marriage include Canada, Belgium, Netherlands, and other countries as well. And they say heterosexual marriage has either gone up or remained stable through this. So basically, gay marriage has no effect on the heterosexual community whatsoever, according to these countries. Or it's actually declined consistent with countries that ban. Um, other examples of why is the financial aid that government gives people who are married. Um, it can be easier to adopt children if you're married, and um, easier to get loan from houses, and cheaper to go to the doctor's offices as well. Um, some scholarly insights um, Lee Badgett, director of policy of the University of Massachusetts, say gay couples need access to, these, to civil marriage for the same reason that heterosexual couples do, because it creates bindings within the state and third parties such as insurance, and everybody needs insurance, like family insurance and stuff like that. Um, President Obama's also mentioned that the couples that he's met are loving and caring people and they can support a family just as well as other people can and they should be given the same rights because of they need insurance, family insurance as well for that. Um, now I'm going to talk about the flaws in government for banning gay marriage. There's no constitutional basis whatsoever. The 14th Amendment basically says that people have all the equal rights and that the states can't take away these privileges, but they do anyways according to galegroup.com. And there's actually a fundamental right within the Constitution, according to constitutioncenter.org. This is also shown in court cases in the past years as well, including Skinner versus Oklahoma, saying, later overruling, saying it was the fundamental to existence and survival of the race. Loving versus Virginia also debunked it, saying that the 14th Amendment um, was ratified in this as well. Um, some movements over the years um, for discrimination also have shown that they've override as well. Um, African Americans and women movements through the 18th Amendment that were later ratified in the 1920s and 1960s as well, according to U.S. News. Um, also in the past, Jefferson and Lincoln were very, um, fought very hard behind the 14th Amendment and that they that no state should deny any person with the equal rights. Um, today I've gone over the reasons why it should be illegal through statistics and other examples such as scholarly insights. I've also gone through the flaws within the government through um, the 14th Amendment, also the um, court cases as well, as well as showing the movements, um, discrimination movements or whatever. And, um, I want to close with a quote from Hillary Clinton saying, gay rights are human rights. Thank you.